Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, this was a bit of a weird one to film because I was in the shower, obviously. But, um, I wanted to talk about, like, my favourite products that I use to remove my makeup because I think removing your makeup is more important than applying your... I don't know if it's more important. <coughs> Can you shut up? Right. Just kidding. I think that how you remove your makeup is almost as important as how you apply your makeup because because it's important to take care of your skin and your face and... but yeah so I tried to think of like a way to talk about my favorite products rather than just like sitting here showing you all my favorite products so yeah um thank you for watching this please tell me what you think of me doing videos like this. Do you want to come shower with me, Smooth? I can't. Why? I'm playing Lego Legends. Hey guys, this is my bathroom. This is also the first voice over that I've ever done, so please bear with me if it's a bit slow or whatever. Um, this is the floor, and Lux had a bath earlier, so all her little bath toys are in there. It's so cute when I see that. Alright, so the first step is that I'm going to get naked, obviously, to get into the shower. Um, and then I take out my contact lenses make sure I wash my hands before taking out my contact lenses because you want to keep it really sterile because you're touching your eyes. And I have two different coloured eyes now. <laughs> and then I just take a makeup wipe to wipe off most of my makeup. I don't get it all with this stuff, I just kind of quickly do it so it's easier in the shower. Um, yeah, so I usually focus on taking off my eyebrows and my eye makeup because they're the most stubborn to get off and it takes forever in the shower if you don't do it first I reckon. Yeah, so just rubbing my eyes. I try to do it pretty gently because the eyes are a sensitive area and if you do it really roughly then you're going to get more wrinkles and stuff. Then I take off my little lipstick because I'm usually wearing a matte lipstick and I take out my plugs so I can clean my earlobes and now my face is clean enough for the shower. And now I'm just going in the shower, wetting my hair. It's so weird to watch yourself in the shower. I look so angry in the shower. Like what am I, what am I so mad about? Um, I'm taking my Kerastase shampoo. I have no idea how to pronounce any of that, so I hope I've put it up long enough for you to see. Since I've been using this, it's repaired my hair so much, like, because I've bleached my hair at home so much, like, I thought it was beyond repair, but it's helped a huge amount. Um, I focus on the ends first, because they're the most damaged, and then I quickly go over the top. Now I'm using this Purity Made Simple Cleanser by Philosophy. This is pretty cool because if your face is already wet, you kind of rub it into your face and it kind of melts the makeup off, which is really cool. So it's a pretty good cleanser. Um, I always cleanse my neck as well because I usually blend my makeup down there. Um, then I kind of go in circles on my cheeks, on my chin, um, up the sides of my nose onto my forehead and then I come down my temples and make sure you get in the hairline too if you blend your makeup up there. I even do behind my ears slightly just in case I've blended makeup there and then taking my ring finger because it's the weakest finger so it's going to have the gentlest pressure. I clean around my eyes and make sure you're careful not to get any cleanser in your eyes when you're cleaning your face and then I do like around my nose ring and because of my nose job I have like little scars and makeup gets stuck in Ugh, it's gross I don't want to talk about it I don't want to put you through that and yeah just cleaning my nose and face and then rinsing that cleanser off now I'm taking this lush angels on bare skin cleanser this is so nice um I tried the dark angels cleanser which is like really rough and hardcore and it just made my face feel like a dry sponge I don't know why a sponge something dry what's something dry I don't know, felt dry. Anyway, just says to take a pea sized amount and mix it in your hand with a paste. Like, mix it in your hand to make a paste with water, and then just rub it all over your face. Yeah, it also says against animal testing, which is good. Yeah, so I rub this paste on my face, rub it in, in circle motions, and I kind of follow what I do with my first cleanse like around the mouth, down the neck, on the forehead, around the nose. Do, 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 do. rinse that off and then your face will be fresh and clean and now I'm rinsing out the shampoo yeah so I usually like to put the shampoo in first so it can stay in for a bit and you know do its thing repair my damaged brittle ends and now I'm taking my De Lorenzo Nova Fusion silver shampoo this is the best silver toning shampoo that I've used 
Um, I reckon it could be even better, but I'd never leave it in for that long. But, like, I used to use the fudge stuff, and I'd leave that in my hair, would just go patchy and purple, but this one, it comes out really even and really nice. And I take about three pumps of that, and I focus it on the ends. I was trying to show you how dark it is, and then it started leaking everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so I'm focusing that on the ends of my hair, because... I don't need to tone my brown hair, just my blonde ends. Squeezing that through. Um, De Laurentiis is also vegan and cruelty free, so if you're looking for a good like salon quality hair brand, then go for them. Pretty good. But yeah, like I'm not a hair professional, so I definitely consult with your hairdresser or a hairdresser about using any products for your hair. I'm just trying to show you what I use for my hair. Yeah, and then I'm taking some more through to the front of my hair, and my camera started to fog up at this point, so I lost some shower footage. But, oh well. Also, look how I'm so angry in the shower. I don't know why. I'm washing that out of my hands, and now I'm taking my shower puffs and braid used one, and it's really dirty, so I bought a new white one, and then he fucking used that too. Anyway, I'm over it. It's fine. Now I'm taking my Body Shop Frosted Cranberry. This smells amazing. And, you know, just so I'm sure you know how to do that. I started showing and then I was like, yep, better, better wash the back of your wrist, the front of your wrist, that gets dirty too. Yeah, I'm taking this Kerastase mask there. I can't pronounce any of these names, so I hope that I film them long enough for you to read the names. Um, I put that in my hair. And now I'm shaving my armpits with a razor that read probably uses for his pubes, I don't know. I barely ever shave, I just did it for the purpose of this video. I can't be bothered with that. Um, I rinsed out the conditioner before I got out, but the camera was too foggy. So now I'm putting my hair in a hair wrap. And then I thought it'd be cool to show you what's in my drawer. So this is this purple ointment, which I like to use. My Marc Jacobs watch from my parents-in-law that I love, and I keep it in there so I remember to wear it. My FC UK glasses. I love these glasses, but Lux broke them, so now I can't wear them, but I just keep them because of memories. And these Easy Vision contacts from Spec Savers. Uh, I don't like them so far, but maybe I'm using them wrong or something. I love this hair mist by Lush. When I can't be bothered washing my hair or like straightening it, I just spray some in. It adds so much texture to my hair, and it smells nice, and I just love it. Um, fashion tape. I've never used this in my life, but I always keep it. I don't know why, because I'm a hoarder. Um, Embryolis Le Creme Concentrate. I can't pronounce that either, but I love that moisturiser. It's improved my skin so much since I started using it. And then just extra widening. Roll on. I barely wear deodorant either, actually. Which is kind of gross, but I don't think I smell bad. I wear perfume. Um, and then my Mugu eczema and psoriasis cream. I bought this when I had pups, which is like a pregnancy rash. It's fucking horrible. But um, it didn't work. But I've started getting like this like dermatitis on the back of my hands and on my arms, so I use it for that. And by oil, I like to rub on my earlobes, and you can use it on stretch marks as well, but I don't use anything on my stretch marks. Like, I have a few, but I actually really like the look of stretch marks. I think they're badass as fuck. Um, Sukin detoxifying clay mask. I love how this feels. I love how it smells. Like every time I use it, my skin feels so fresh and like minty and like super clean. So yeah, I really want to try more Sukin products because they're also vegan and cruelty free and they're really affordable too. You can get them from Priceline. Um, I don't have much to say about these makeup wipes. They were just on sale for in like a pack of three for five dollars. So that's why I have those. No other reason. Um, oh, this is, I love this treatment for my hair. You can read it, because I can't pronounce any of that. And there's tint on the top, because Reed used, like, eyebrow tint on it. Not to tint his eyebrows, you don't want to know what he was tinting. Um, this smells like, my hairdresser described it as, it's like broccoli for your hair, because it's so good for your hair. And yeah, it's improved my hair so much. Cotton tips, um, for cleaning my ears, and cleaning my nose because since I had my nose job my fingers are too fat to fit up there so I can't pick my nose and that's pretty sad um baby cotton buds and this Thomas Sabo necklace my sister got me this for my b-day my 21st and it's like my birthstone which is a garnet because I'm an Aquarius born on the 30th of January in case you were wondering 
and it has like a little rose gold little thingy. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Yeah, but I love it, so I keep it in there so I remember to wear it. And my hairbrush. Oh, it's dirty. Don't look at it. Ooh. Like, I forget to pull my hair out. And when I get home, I just rip it out of the packet and put it in my drawer and I can't be bothered cutting off those annoying little plastic tags. Why are they even there? What is the point? And that's all. So I'm using my Kate Somerville eye cream. That's just a sample from Mecca. And using my ring finger again, I dab that in. So I go under the eye. I don't know why I wasn't facing the camera. Because I'm an idiot, probably. And Lucas Pawpaw ointment. And I just put some of that on my lips to keep them moist. And I take my toner and I don't know why I didn't film that. And my Embryolis moisturizer. And I like to pat this into my face. I uh, rub it in to get it, spread it around the face, and I like to pat it in because that stimulates blood flow and, you know, covers a broader surface area, getting it on your face, I reckon. Mugo, so I put C, I have, ugh, it's ugly. But it used to be heaps worse, and then I started using this. Also, Edgar gets it on his face, <laughs> which is so annoying. Like, um, my brother-in-law was like, oh, I don't know you got colour added to your tattoo, and I was like, no, that's just fucking dermatitis. And I'm taking my Mario Badescu drying lotion. This is amazing. You just take a cotton bud, dip it in, put it on your pimple, and wake up without a pimple. I'm taking that repairing treatment by Kerastase. And yeah, focusing that on my ends and then kind of just using the excess and putting it in the top. Tying up my hair because Lux always pulls it. And wet hair annoys me. And taking some breast pads to put on so my boobs don't leak milk everywhere and I'm on my period so I'm taking a pad. These are my favourite pads, they are so good, like they never leak and they're massive but they're really thin so they're comfortable. When I filmed the video last night, Reed was playing League of Legends and that's where he is again, playing League of Legends. You know, the thing where it's like kills, assists. Zero, zero, one. Loser!